I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on measurement of angles. In this video, we'll try to understand how do we convert the angles measured in degrees, minutes, and seconds to those in radius. So we have two examples here. One of the angle is positive, the other one is negative. Let us see how to do this conversion. So we're given an angle which is 57 degrees, 12 minutes, and 34 seconds. First step will be to write this as in degrees, right? And then second will be to write this in radians. So let's look into the conversion factors, right? So the number here is 57, which is degrees, okay? Now plus we have 12 minutes. Now if I have to convert 12 minutes to degrees, what should I do? I have to divide this by 60, right? So I have to divide this by 60 to get that also in degrees, right? The conversion factor actually, as you know, is this. One degree is equal to 60 minutes, right? And uh, one degree is equal to 60 times 60, which is 3600 seconds. So when you're doing the reverse, that is, when you convert minutes to degrees, then in that case, 1 over 60, right, will be the value. You have to divide by 60 to get this in degrees, right, will be your 1 minute and 1 over 3600 in degrees will be your 1 second, right. So 1 minute means 1 dash, okay. So that is how we are going to use the conversion factors. So 12 minutes could be written as 12 degrees divided by 60 and 34 seconds can be written as 34 degrees divided by 3600. Correct? So that is your conversion to decimal degrees, right? So this is basically your decimal degrees, right? Let's do this with calculator we have 57 plus uh, within brackets let me write 12 divided by 60 bracket close and then again plus 34 divided by 3600 right so okay so we can add it like this and what do we get we get 57.2094 right so what we get here is 57. 2094, right? Let's write it to four decimal places. So those many degrees. So first step is to convert to decimal degrees, right? Now, from the decimal degrees, we'll convert this to radians. So that'll be our next step. To convert to radians, we know that one degree, the relation basically is 180 degrees is equals to pi radians, correct? So now, if I need to know how is degree related with radians, then 1 degree is equals to pi radians over 180, right? So that is how it is. So this degree will now be written as pi radian over 180. So we can write this as 57.2094 times pi divided by 180, correct? So this is degrees, that is also degrees, they will cancel away. Or you could treat like this, 1 degree was pi over 180, then you don't have to write degree here, correct? Okay, now let's do this calculation. So we have this 57.20944, we'll actually multiply this by pi, and then we'll divide by 180. So when you do that, you get 0 0.9984. Right, so that many radians. Rounding to three decimal places, I could write this as 0 0.998 radians. Correct? So that is very close to one radian, right? 57.3 is one radian. So that is actually very close to radians. So that is how you do the conversion. Now, I would like you to do the conversion of minus 26 degrees 39 minutes and 50 seconds into radians so you can pause the video do and then check with my solution okay 
Negative means that the measurement of the angle has taken place in the clockwise direction, right? So negative means clockwise direction. So negative will remain negative. That is important to understand. So the first step here will of course be writing this as, let me write here, negative. And we have 26 degrees. So 26 degrees is perfectly fine. Then 39 minutes, writing it in degrees, we have to divide by 60 plus 50 minutes, right? So that now becomes degrees. 50 seconds will become degree if I divide by 3600. Is that clear to you? So let's do it and calculate. So minus, actually speaking, is outside the bracket. The whole angle will remain negative, right? Do you understand? And we'll do this calculation to write this answer in decimals. So we have 26 plus within brackets, let me write 39 divided by 60 plus within brackets 50 divided by 3600, which is equal to in decimals 26.6638, right? That is what it is equal to. Now we are going to convert this to radians, right? So this is in degrees, but in decimals. Perfect. Now converting that to radians, we should multiply this by pi and divide by 180 as we did here, right? So we have 26.6638 and we are going to times it with pi and divide by 180 degrees, correct? This was in degrees, degree, degree will cancel. So we'll multiply this number by pi and then divide it by 180. So what you get here is in radians, which is 0 0.4653. Rounding to three decimal places, we get 0 0.465 radians. Is that clear to you, right? And of course, it has to be negative, right? So don't forget that, negative this. So it will be equal to, let's write down again here, this will be equals to negative 0 0.465 radians. Is that clear? So conversion to radians from degrees, minutes and seconds, it is important to first convert that into decimal equivalent of degrees, right? Decimally, which you do by dividing minutes by seconds and second, uh, minutes by 60 and seconds by 3600. Add them all get your decimal equivalent right so so that is in decimal degrees then you convert to radians by multiplying it with a factor of pi over 180 so i hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best